So today we're going to deal with adding extra credit to a gradebook. Um, there's only uh, a couple of aggregation types that actually let you use um, extra credit or denoting something as extra credit, um, and that would be the simple weighted mean of grades or natural weighting, which is uh, known as sum of grades. So what we're going to do, we have a course here. We're going to go to the gradebook. Um, so for that, we're going to select grades. And then we're going to go to gradebook setup. And we're going to look at a couple of scenarios. So the first scenario that we want to present is adding extra credit to a single item. Um, and so the first item that we're going to look at is quiz one. So let's say we don't actually plan to apply the extra credit to both quiz one and quiz two, but we only want it to show up for uh, quiz number one. Um, so that affects it just a little bit more uh, for that individual grade item. So what we'll need to do in this case is to add a category. In this case, we're going to call the category quiz one. And it will sit inside the parent category called quizzes because that's where the actual quizzes are. We'll leave it at natural weighting because natural, again, allows extra credit to happen. All right, so now we have a quiz one. And what we're going to do now is to move quiz one inside of this subcategory. And just to make it a little bit more functional, we're going to move quiz two down below so it just continues uh, a natural progression. So now we have quiz one inside of the quiz one subcategory. Now we need to add the extra credit item. So we're going to add a grade item. And we're going to call it quiz number one. extra credit. So again, with the parent category, and again, it's not going to go to quizzes, we're going to go to quiz number one. So it's going to sit inside there. Uh, and we only want them to be able to earn potentially up to five points. So I could mark this extra credit now, but I want you to see what happens when you have something that's in a sum of grades and how it reacts before it's labeled as extra credit. So we're going to save changes. And so now what you see is you have a subcategory called quiz one. There are two items inside of it, even though this says quiz one extra credit in the label or in the name, it does not actually make it extra credit. You actually have to make sure that it's checked off as extra credit, because right now it looks as if there are two items. One's worth 100 points, the other one's worth five for a grand total of 105. So here's where we need to make the change. So we're going to go back to the extra credit for quiz one. We're going to edit the settings and under the parent category, we're going to check the box here for extra credit and then we're going to save changes. Now what you'll see is instead of quiz one total being 105, it's now 100. So the quiz one extra credit item will not penalize them, but it can only add value. So it can only add up to five points. Okay. So that's one way to do it. And that directly affects the total for quiz number one. So the other option is to look at um, our homework assignments. So let's say we want to be want them to be able to um, add extra credit, but it goes to everything within the category. Um, you can do that as well. So there's no need for any special subcategories. You can say, um, I want to add an extra credit item, or excuse me, an add a grade item. And I'm going to call this homework because it's not to a specific homework assignment. I'm just going to call this homework EC, homework extra credit. And let's say I'm being extremely generous. I'm adding 10 points here. So it will go inside of the homework category. That's important to make sure that it sits inside the right category. And now we have this additional item, but again, it's not denoted as extra credit. So we'll need to go back in and edit and then edit settings and make sure we check the box for extra credit and save changes. So now in this regard, what will happen is all these items will be totaled up and then it will be divided. Um, and then that will give us our total for uh, extra credit. So there's one that's baked inside of one item, baked inside of a category. Um, but remember we were talking about trying to do extra credit for a weighted mean of grade. So a lot of people use weighted mean of grades and you can't do that 
uh, with extra credit. So this course has uh, two larger sections, which are the quizzes and homework. They're both represent 50% of the overall grade. We need to make it that way. So what we could do is, and actually just for um, a little bit, actually probably a little bit more functional is to make the quizzes worth 80% and this worth 20. And I'll just save that really quickly. All right, so now that we have this, we'd also probably like to be able to add extra credit on top of that. So that would go into what's called the course raw score total. So I'm gonna add a grade item. I'm gonna call it raw score extra credit. And let's say it's just three points. So when I go to create that item, it's going to sit here. But as you can see, it can only um, be added and have a weight to it. So if I were to go in and select edit settings and then try to look for that extra credit block, it doesn't work. So uh, weighted meaning grades doesn't work for that way. So this is what we're calling the cherry on top. OK, so if you have a if you have a grade book that is overall weighted meaning grades category, uh, weighted, weighted mean grades aggregation, the way to handle extra credit with for it is to um, create a subcategory called raw course total. Make sure that the category itself is weighted mean grades. And then you can put all of the, your weighted items inside of it. And then on the outside, you can choose to either use sum of grades or simple weighted mean grades. Um, so what we're going to do here is that we're going to move this raw score extra credit to the outside. So I'm going to make a few changes. First change, I'm just going to call this course extra credit. And all right, I can't do anything else with that because I can't move it now, but I can move it if I go here. So the other way to move this is to, and actually I'll just use the same method. So I'm going to check the move icon. And I'm going to move it outside of the weighted mean of grades category. I'm going to put it to the larger course category, which is natural weighting or sum of grades. So now it looks like I will have quizzes that are worth 80%. I have homeworks that are worth 20%. That's going to give me a raw uh, course total here. Um, and then I want an extra credit item where the students can earn back up to three points through extra credit. Um, but that has to be done on the outside because, again, this is weighted mean of grades. Um, this action wouldn't be necessary unless um, for simple weighted mean of grade or natural um, because it, it would be able to take place without having a subcategory there. Um, so what we're going to do now, now that we have this course extra credit, we can now edit it, edit settings, and we can now check that extra credit box. Because uh, before what we saw was 103 points, but now we are back to 100 points for the overall course total. This three points is now denoted as extra credit. That's important because that icon lets me know that this is extra credit. And it's doing something a little weird, so let me see. Yep, extra credit, there we go. So it's now labeled as an extra credit item. So those are the three ways that you can add extra credit to your course. Um, and I'll show you one more time. So here we wanted to add extra credit to a single item. So we needed to wrap it inside of a category with just that one item and the extra credit, making sure that we either choose to use natural or simple way to mean a grade. Here we're adding extra credit within a subtotal. So everything is going to be added up together um, and then um, properly aggregated. And then we have what's going to be what I like to call the cherry on top. So we get our course total and then we add the extra credit to the outside of it. Um, again, make sure that you are make make sure that you are using or denoting the extra credit checkbox if it's possible. If it's not allowing for you to check it, that means you're using the wrong aggregation type. Uh, if you have any, other, any further questions, please contact LearnTech um, at learntech at ncsu.edu 
or you could give us a call at 919-513-7094. Thank you.